How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring you along with me to use my Mavic Air 2 and test out its tracking capabilities. So let's jump right into it. So it's a nice little morning here today and I wanted to just get basically testing out my Mavic Air 2. Um, I haven't really used so much of the tracking to, like of it so I want to kind of test it out today with my longboard and we're just going to kind of have some fun and ride my longboard up and down my street and see how well it tracks me. So I'm going to do a little bit of different angles probably from above to the side, behind and in front and everything that it can do and just see how well it does. So we're just going to go have some fun and film it. So here we go. So I just got back from riding it a little bit and kind of trying to do the active track. It's a little bit, it's good and bad, I guess. Um, obviously where I'm at, it's a little bit harder to do from up above because I have trees all the way to the top. So don't want to risk it too much getting um, caught in the tree branches or anything like that. But when I try to do from above, even relatively from a farther up height, it, it kind of, it's kind of weird because it'll just say that like it can only track people or cars, but last time I checked I'm a person uh, DJI am I not so it's kind of kind of weird to me when it won't want to acknowledge that I'm a person to track me but from behind or from the side it'll do it as well from the front um, so it's it just kind of weird to me to do it so I kind of have to like do it I guess in a sense like manually which is not the purpose that I want it for so I'm assuming that if I was able to do it a little bit higher I might be able to do it so what I might do is try it out whenever I'm here in my driveway put it up high enough and see if it can track me because there's not as much trees above me here and just kind of see how it goes so I tried doing again the above tracking and the camera movement would just kind of go with me for a bit and then it would lose track of me the drone wouldn't move as much as I wanted it to to track me from above so it was kind of annoying to deal with so I just kind of gave up after this attempt and decided to stop so after kind of testing it out a little bit more I just wanted to tested a little bit from above since it wasn't tracking me right above me because it wouldn't recognize me as a person I guess um, it still tracks pretty well I mean in all honesty when it does track it tracks fairly well obviously the sometimes I'll get a little bit jittery because there's obstacles in the way which is I prefer it doing that than running into it but I mean it is frustrating whenever you're trying to get from above footage like facing downwards so, but you're as you're moving because it won't acknowledge that you're an object I guess um, it does work with my car I've done it before so that's not the biggest issue but for a person kind of active tracking whenever you're trying to do like self solo um, videoing it does get a little bit frustrating because you want to get like more creative with the shots and kind of will suck I, I guess but overall though the the tracking of it is pretty great I mean it is fairly accurate sometimes it'll lose itself whenever you start getting closer to it which is kind of a given I, I guess but overall I think it, it'll be a cool little feature that you can have on this to get 
just tracked with your drone whenever you want to do some solo filming. I've done it before with the video that I made for if I can vlog with just my drone, a little short kind of video that I made that wasn't so much a vlog, but it was just kind of treated as a vlog, I guess you would say. But as the tracking goes, I would probably out of 10, I would give it a seven. So it's not, not, not too horrible, but I think it still works pretty well when it comes down to it. It does the job so um, i know it probably if i was in a different scenario or setting it probably work a lot better but i wanted to use it in the setting that i would know i would use it daily since i usually film around my house and around this area that's what i wanted to use it for and so far i mean with all the trees that i have around i mean it has to be careful with it so i understand that so that's not the biggest issue but just wish it would focus on me and treat me as a person when i'm up literally below it but it is what it is. The sun got kind of annoying being in the back of my car just when I was trying to film. So I decided to move over here a little bit, um, get it right behind me, I guess. But anyways, that's basically what I want to test it out just to see what a real life setting of the active track would be for the drone, because not everybody's going to use it for nice, cool little cinematic situations that you might want to use it. Sometimes you might do it, but I want to use it for self videoing. So that's the main purpose of this, to see how it would work for just a normal setting to track myself. If I want to go longboarding, if I want to track myself, or if I want to go on a bike ride, or if I want to just walk, I guess, just to see how well it would work, because most people that might use it for fun might do that. So I wanted to see how it would work for you guys to see if it works that way. And if it's something that you think works well, well, there you go. Now you can buy yourself a Mavic Air 2. Also, the Mini 2 came out and it's actually pretty baller. So you got some options here when it comes down to drone picking. So it's up to you what you want to decide to do. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with a friend, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.